available. I don't know. It's just I, like, I, I, I'm quick north and that's it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm from the Midwest, sir. There's a town in West Virginia called Big Ugly. Yeah, that sounds crazy. I love these facts so much. <laughs> Dude. There were Dude, legit five jokes running through Imagine my mind. right now where you come from. Big ugly. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't surprising at all. Big <laughs> ugly West Virginia. Just look at your ID. Are you the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> Cause like even what? like out of context, it's just like big ugly West Virginia. It's like, hey! Our state isn't that bad. It's like, no, no, no. I'm just saying a city. <laughs> it's a place that exists. From big ugly, comma West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would hate it. Oh, legitimately. Imagine, imagine you're a basketball star, hailing from Big <laughs> Ugly, West Virginia. <laughs> This you know, absolutely knows about the internet <laughs> triton because uh like a couple months after the bowsette thing happened they they changed the um the crown's description it was just like only toadette can wear this crown so it's just like kill that noise <laughs> <laughs> martin luther king jr Woo! a c in his public speaking class during his two semesters in seminary school who is that teacher? Who's the dude? Okay, is it a white teacher? And is that the reason why? Let me see. Let me Who was the teacher. dude that... Because you know you got to wake up one day and just 20 go, years oh, later. That mom changed everything. <laughs> and I gave him a motherfucking C. <laughs> he wrote, watch, he wrote the I have a dream speech in school. He's just like, why are you writing about dreams? <laughs> dreams are for children. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never make it, Martin. <laughs> this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> or does the dude wake up like, yeah, my seat is sent to buy it him to get fired? <laughs> Y'all know I was his teacher. Yeah. And I told him that he, I was pushing him to do better. Apply the yourself. Oh my goodness. You can go one or two ways with that way. Either A, I'm a fraud, or B, I'm inspiring people so hard <laughs> that I inspired the civil rights movement. <laughs> <laughs> just through my teacher. <laughs> it's just some like physicist teacher in like the 30s is like, oh man, look, I'm looking through all these old papers that I got, physics papers. Look, look, look at this D minus I gave to this kid named Albert Ein Einstein. <laughs> No, surely that can't be the same one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, imagine Stephen King in a creative writing class. Oh. <laughs> this is minus, sir. Your adjectives, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> a dog with rabies, what's up? In Tupac in math class, the teacher just comes up. Tupac, what I tell you about writing cl raps in class? <laughs> You're not gonna make it with this. You need these numbers. Get some bucks in you. And then oh, four oh, years later, oh. you gotta dance around to slip up. You wanna close back in it? <laughs> you know I taught Sue Tupac. <laughs> Oh, dude, I would never sleep. I'd be shaking. The PS5 in a year has outsold the Wii U's lifetime sales. <laughs> Y'all leave the Wii U alone. And try his best. Hey, consumers did. <laughs> Accurate. That's not. That's not. Yes, it is. Oh, for. Early yes, adopter. Is exactly what we're going for. Ooh. Oh, dude, I will never forget that woman with all the Wii U's in the back of her car thinking she was going to flip them boys. Oh, someone tried Whoa. to do that near you guys? No, no, it was a it's a viral picture. Oh, okay. I don't remember You've that. You've never seen it? No. Oh, dude, I'll, I'll look it up. I think I've seen this. It's unfortunate. Um, Let's see what else we got. Um... Well, actually, yep. Oh. All I had to look up was Wii U Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wii U Woman. Oh, this is get good. some. 
get some, y'all. <clears throat> see, we you woman. No, I already got another one for oh, you. Okay. Where's it going? No, he posted uh, it in yeah. chat. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. The scalper beautifully bone. <laughs> oh, and those are like even. Ooh, ooh. There's probably like two per box in the boxes behind her too. Uh -huh. <laughs> in the Yikes. That boy's in a back seat and everything. Yeah, you can see him on the console, dude. This is at least. 10? She's like, this is my retirement. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, she thought she was gonna flip these for double, because remember, the Wii was having supply issues, so this is the next console of the Wii, mm -hmm. so why wouldn't I do it? She didn't find it odd that she can buy in 15 of them? <laughs> Day one? In the store? <laughs> yeah, I, I was, because of like what the day I went through trying to get a Wii when it first came out, where I lucked the fuck out. <clears throat> someone by someone's generosity which where's that in this world <laughs> um where i was just so concerned about getting a wii u day one where i just walked into gamestop i'm like you guys go wii u's so yeah oh okay <laughs> and no wait there bro yep <laughs> remember at my gamestop they had a tower of them built just for people to grab and go yeah, why do we even gotta pay, Pimpin? Just go ahead and take it. Because <laughs> they thought it was gonna be another Wii situation where they were just gonna fly off the shelf. They probably overstocked and everything. Oh yeah, GameStop for real had that problem. Please take these. We we need to put the we need we have another display that we need to put here. A <laughs> hundred dollars off, please, anybody. Mm -hmm. Can I get this keychain? Absolutely. And it's here's got... your complimentary Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm good. <laughs> Featuring the upcoming great title, Zombie U. Remember that one? That was one of their big they hype ported titles. It. They ported yeah, it they to ported like it. PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation yeah. 4. It was on PlayStation Plus. I played it at a con. That was a fun game. It was, it was decent. I, it, you know, I got it because it was a I will, launch game. I will just never forget that trailer. We just like, end? What? Nobody oh, cares. I remember Mike hyping that bullshit up. Oh, I remember. <laughs> It's so innovative, where you're just like, a zombie's coming, and you gotta look down and go, sh -sh 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 -sh, and try to get your thing, as opposed to, pause, find item. Oh, I remember you hyping that bullshit yeah. up. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. I'm having flashbacks to that film, too. Oh, man. It's, it's a lot so better in, uh, in the Zelda games that came out for Wii U. <laughs> having the menu management there. I minored in history with a focus on the development of Western European socialism. Not socialism. Um, every word of that fascism. was just lit to me. <laughs> I so, mean, what? every word, every West. syllable was just I, like, I, I, I'm a quick north and that's it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm from the Midwest, sir. There's a town in West Virginia called Big Ugly. Yeah, that's not surprising. I love these facts so much. <laughs> Dude, there were legit five jokes running through Imagine my right now where you come from. Big ugly. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't surprising at all. Big <laughs> ugly West Virginia. Just look at your ID. Are you the mayor? <laughs> <laughs> Cause like even like out of context, it's just like big ugly West Virginia. It's like, hey! Our state isn't that bad. It's like, no, no, no. I'm just saying a city. <laughs> it's a place that exists. Big ugly, comma, West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would hate it. Oh, legitimately. Imagine, imagine you're a basketball star. Hailing from Big Ugly, <laughs> West Virginia. This is Nintendo absolutely knows about the internet <laughs> triton because... Uh, like a couple months after the Bowsette thing happened, they they changed the um, the crown's description. It was just like only Toadette can wear this crown, so it's just like kill that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. wrote a C in his public speaking class during his two semesters in seminary school. Hello, 
everyone, and welcome back to the Podcast of Stuff, episode 291. Hawakas in there, always with the Lechonk. Always. I, I just love that that is just his <laughs> go-to intro, is always the Lechonk. Lechonk. It's, it's amazing that there are in-jokes on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> True! <laughs> True. <clears throat> It had to happen eventually. Yeah. Speaking of stuff on this channel, though, Ralph is streaming. What is this? I am. I <laughs> he am. got killed by a moose. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? what? We do don't you need do that. It? No. Yes, yes no. we do. <laughs> so no. he's playing near no. right now. No. Oh, I'm explaining why, why this because we... this is beautiful. God. <laughs> God damn it. So his first stream, he was playing near Automata. And this one, I'm like, I'm going to give him the full on Johns. If he was playing near Automata on a keyboard, which Jesus Christ, I was <laughs> that game is not was. playable on a keyboard. And he, no, I proved that. I proved that he, uh, he got, uh, one of the secret endings of near Automata, which there are 26 for each letter of the alphabet. And the secret, uh, ending that he got was dying during the intro. <laughs> segment and he got that ending at least three or four times because yeah i don't know how <clears throat> you even thought that that was a good idea i don't know <laughs> man i'm like hey pe game devs are good they can make an optimization oh, for a keyboard and uh, mouse for a game no. as big as this one no but surely after the you should have been like oh this don't feel good at all so, uh, it was me so he tried. No, I was. That's, that's that's literally what I said in the beginning. I started playing like, oh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> All right this is not. I'm not gonna do this anymore. <laughs> so, but the problem was, is he only had a PS4 controller, and his computer just said, "No, I am not recognizing yeah, this device." <laughs> do you have uh, DS4 yep. Windows? Yep. Did you download the virtual Xbox yep. 360 controller? Oh, yep. you just sucked, man. Uh, I had both. I had all of that. Was your yep. steam up? Yeah. Uh, did you remove the big picture controller uh, takeover for Steam? We tried from PS4 it on controller, and yes. off. Okay. Yep. yep. It, 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 it just whatever. The controller is dead. <clears throat> so the controller is dead. We uh, he went and bought an Xbox controller, and those things just work on PCs. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so that yeah. was the the end of stream one was me dying to, for the third time. To this final boss and i was like nah this is there's gotta be a, where where's a controller being sold I, I got a target in a walmart near me what's going on yeah sometimes you just gotta do it uh it's not the problem of the buttons triton it's that uh the placement doesn't feel good yeah no matter no matter oh, the yeah. layout you put on it like oh, for yeah. a controller just look at it. You got four face buttons. You got uh, four shoulder buttons. For uh, so, where do you place on a keyboard eight buttons that will act like those eight buttons? And then and there's like macro, feel and there's like macros too in terms of like things you can do mm -hmm. in the game. So the big thing that Ralph was facing in that is dodging, um, mm -hmm. which on keyboard is double tapping one of the arrow or one of your directional keys. Ew. But then it's, how do you yeah. do that diagonally? <laughs> <laughs> that's the real problem yeah. so just the macros in terms of the game and then even trying to map that to something just in, in a game like near just doesn't work too well so you really it need did a controller. not <clears throat> um so stream two you got a controller and i was uh i believe at a uh one of my locals and i get back and i just like was clicking through the vod just to make sure things were going good that the controller was working what have you and i just happened to click on where you were fighting a moose <laughs> Come on. And he gets of his course. shit wrecked <laughs> by a moose. By a moose? To be fair. You got killed in a room with a moose? <laughs> to be fair. Yes. Mm. To be fair, the moose was level nine. I was level four. And this was an to... alpha moose. Why are you trying to fight okay. a moose? Because <laughs> it did. Okay. So in near, it doesn't show wow. the level of the thing. Until you get close to it. So I was already in combat thinking, okay, cool. I'll get some moose meat. And then I realized it was level nine. Triton. That, and it that, rocked my shit. Honestly, great A comedy right there. 
No, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> then that's when you disengage from said moose. I tried. Ask Mike. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You were right, did. into wow. it. Don't even this try is, no, and shift that. I believe. No. <laughs> She gave chase, remember? Yeah. You were like, swinging at it. I, there's a clip on this channel right fucking now. Go watch it. <laughs> I, I, I have a slight memory of trying to get I away. Meant to I honestly meant to Triton. I thought that was good. Um, But, uh, yeah, you, you did not try to run away from mo said moose. I thought I did. Um, I thought I did. That needs to be a life uh, saying. He did the typical uh, Ralph thing. Put his head down, went in, swinging. <laughs> Brute force. <laughs> It'll work. Somebody's fallen. <laughs> Me or you. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I will, it, regardless of what actually happened, not saying yes or no to that situation, but I went from getting O-code by this first boss to literally beating it with a perfect. <laughs> with a controller. That is how different this game was with a fucking controller over a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, it sounds counterintuitive on keyboard. I would never. Even when I play something like Atelier, those games are like, it's best to play it on a controller, but you don't really need to because it's turn-based RPGs. Even then, I wouldn't play it on a keyboard. Oh, dude, it was not Let good. Let alone an action game. I talked about it was not before, good. But uh, Hollow Cure is kind of the vampire survivor's ripoff. I was just like, even that, I'm like, it's basically up, down, left, right. And I'm like, this feels horrible on keyboard. So, yeah. Get a controller. I yeah, know, Amber. Like, nah, Haley, nah. this is the content you miss by not watching me stream. Yes. This is, yeah. Like, at the end of the day, like, to me, shooters, hell yeah. Give, give me keyboard and mouse any day of the week. Oh, yeah. But, like, yeah there's not a lot you need to do with a shooter. Yeah. Because uh, it really, it, there's no, like... A lot of times there typically isn't like a dodge. Well, thing for the well, most part. again, yeah, unless you're playing Gears of War, in which case, keep right, going. Okay, every, let me rephrase first person shooter. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> um, but yeah, somebody most, that played uh, fighting games in tournament, uh, uh, fighting games with keyboard. So, it would so actually, makes sense, especially no, if they don't would... have, um, uh, if it's uh, digital That's inputs, fucking rude, just Amber. like. You press forward and you are going full tilt run. There is no like walking like Smash Bros. No, no. Or this was MK9. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, no. And he, it wasn't that uh, he didn't have a controller or anything. He preferred it. He would bring a converter for the Xbox 360 <laughs> to play on keyboard. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, know, give her, I could give her that never <laughs> understand it. Because mm -hmm. I know um, <clears throat> Super Smash Flash, the uh, fan made game. Uh, it's digital inputs. Super there is no, there is no walking in the game, so a lot of people just play that game on keyboard and mouse because you just you hit a direction and you go. There is no walking. <laughs> so aren't they coming out with a um indie platform fighter, indie crossover platform fighter that's Frame Makers? Smash for yes. Indie games? Yeah. <clears throat> it has like shovel. I only night. know this because I wrote Octodad. an article about it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ralph streaming more. I'm excited for that. <clears throat> Getting more stuff on the channel. Um, more non mic stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, it's, it's needed. Uh, you know, with a grain of salt, we're going to see how things go. I might be uh, using the channel to stream, do a side stream on some of the locals here in Columbus for Smash Bros. Oh, that would be cool. Um, oh. Talked to one of the TOs about it. And uh, for the tournament this weekend, I was helping run the stream. Um, their stream and uh, mostly it was just like I'm like if you ever need another side stream like I've got stuff <laughs> I even like got I'm getting a newer uh, ish laptop for more portable streaming <clears throat> um, and it's just like purely dedicated to just be a stream box laptop um, yeah I'm gonna try and do that I actually so this, this week was a lot of smash for me tournaments and stuff wise <clears throat> um, watching was, playing uh, two locals, or three, lo well, two locals in terms of weeklies, one local in terms of, like, a regional um, this Saturday, <clears throat> this past Saturday, and then the coin box came back, so it was just <laughs> lots and lots of smash. Got my first top eight. We do not need commentator Mike. No, 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 a commentator, I, I did commentary on uh, Tuesday, and I really enjoyed it. 
Um, <laughs> didn't you say you didn't want to until you got th your the throat, throat thing throat. handled? It has gotten better, honestly. Okay. In those in go. those days, I, I wasn't clearing my throat as much. All right, there you go. Um, he says immediately clearing <laughs> his throat. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna but, say it. There, there, Beat there me are to days. It. There are days when it's good and days when it's not. And like you know, I was uh, recovering from a hangover and ate greasy and awful food, so <laughs> my throat I was is cramping. About to say maybe you need some nutrients in your life. <laughs> maybe that's the issue. Maybe no, I don't think two that's times it. a day takeout is not good. I sustainable. Don't, I don't think. Maybe that's take. A nah. multivitamin. Nah. Let's see how you feel. Nah. Maybe try carrots. <laughs> have you heard of vitamin A, perhaps? I, no. Okay, both of you have seen this man's fridge. He'd buy a vegetable and it'd rot. It didn't need to. It didn't need to. <laughs> That's but, what would happen. He'd buy carrots and they would grow more carrots. <laughs> Sounds pretty self sustainable, actually. Not when they eventually come to life and kill you. <laughs> the fact that they would be consumed or not is a different story, but... <laughs> but yeah, find an enemy at work, just like I made this for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, Tuesday uh, was the smaller local, but uh, I managed to... The Cooper fingers have expired lemon juices. Legitimately, oh, he had one expired, but another one, and that one expired as well. It was irritating. Dude, I will never forget. That is a day in my life I will never be able to forget. Mug got six eggs and they were expired. No, I think it was four. It Just was four eggs. All of them in there. One, not no, one I, taken out. One was taken out and the rest were expired. I can't remember precisely. No, no it was full. No, it was full. Unbelievable. Oh, they can keep saying it. I just don't care. <laughs> Triton. <laughs> That's oh, the problem. You should. Start. So they they can keep bringing it up, and I'll just sit here and smile the whole time. The whole yeah, time. smile because you know in your fridge are your fucking microwave ready meals that you're gonna use to survive. I'm fucking coughing up a fucking lung every day. No nah, leftover DoorDash Burger King or some. <laughs> every day. day, every day, indeed. <clears throat> but anyways. Tuesday. You Mike the is the problem. Try. True. Um, <laughs> on Tuesday, got top eight for the first time. It was, it was one of the smaller locals, but I got a win on, like, a top eight player in our scene. <clears throat> so I was real happy about that. And hey, honestly, I think... Top if, eight is a top eight sucker. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, I think that win, like, kind of fucked me up. Like, in terms of just, like, adrenaline was like, okay, you need to calm oh, down. You need to fucking calm down. You got no, an awesome win. Like, you need to calm down. <laughs> no, you got that swag going. He's just like, I'm unbeatable. I'm, am I the no, best no, really it, in the world? It was, it was not that. It was she just like. Am smash. <laughs> <laughs> I am smash. I am smash. Let was, me check my phone. I think Sakurai is calling me right now. Yeah, no, <laughs> Ridley in the next game, too. You know what it is. It was, it was, it was such the opposite of that where it's just like it was just like i'm just like you are too excited get back down and i never did <laughs> no nah, it's hard to um, I've, I've been in tournaments where i'm against the top player and i am up in the game i'm like what am i gonna do if i win and then i lose because i'm thinking like way further i'm not thinking about the game i'm thinking about the future <laughs> mm-hmm yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, that, you gotta take them losses, you gotta take them wins, and mm -hmm. you just gotta go. Yeah, it's it's nothing. And like that guy it is what it is. Got top eight at the Saturday tournament, which was like a hundred plus people from Ohio and many states around us. So, who they play? <clears throat> Snake, and that's why a lot of people were like, "How the fuck did you do that with Ridley?" <laughs> and honestly, out of like the ranged opponents snake is probably my favorite matchup like against the link all of his shit hits you and then it's just like you're in a combo scenario you're in a disadvantage scenario if a grenade like hits me before it explodes i don't care it's like it just kind of hits off of me and whatever <clears throat> um and then i can just get around it and get into boxing tools um duck hunt again you hit the can it blows up and his projectiles just they, they control more space to me and snakes um yeah i have to figure out fucking duck hunt that 
I keep running into them in the coin box and I keep fucking getting toasted. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, and did a little bit of commentary on, uh, on Tuesday as well, which I really fucking enjoyed. <clears throat> it's one of those things where it's say, just, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was like, it, I didn't know, because, you know, it's my first time doing it. The only times I really do commentary are online with DA, and then, you know, we're just kind of half the time just poking fun at each other. So it's just like, okay, it's like learning when to interject, when to step back, and what have you, making sure you don't step on each other's toes. And I just need to learn, like, there's a couple of times where he was, like, saying something, I was going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and I need to stop that, because, like, it does interfere with what the person's saying, even though I'm not saying much. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like that's fine for like an interview, but not a yeah. whole commentary type mm-hmm. thing. Uh, what <laughs> I, I just did it now. Is, <laughs> oh, the shit. Good job, Mike. Uh, the thing that good job is you picked the right time is uh, dropping your old name for the mic drop. The mic drop is a fine name to oh, go into. Lone saying uh, instead of that commentator. Yeah, lone saying, lone ninja would have been mm. horrible. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Dude, as so a man I, I that to... will never get away from comp bros. I have to like it is it is a good name. I have to like just give you you have like so many kudos that you have not heard because there's just been so many times that I have been on stream for these various like when I just have a set on stream where people are like good name that's a really good tag the mic drop and I'm just like I can't even claim credit <laughs> it wasn't me <laughs> hey it doesn't matter where the name comes from you were the one that adopted it true because we bet. were making fun of you True. True. <laughs> that that literally is the result of you being a dickhead at melt. So perfect. No, it was. It wasn't that. It was my shrug that I do. Yeah, that's. It was coined at melt. We have the picture. That's where that picture comes from. And I thought it was at home. Or was that my? Yeah, uh, no, it was at home too. Yeah, because you guys uh, were like, because you were all <laughs> ragging on me after. <clears throat> uh, like we had gone to Matsuri or whatever for that day or Ohio yep, kind of I remember, it was. I think and we were sitting in the living in room. A, I think he was even sitting in his con chair in his judge chair. Oh, I remember the judge. The judge okay, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a distinct memory of us of it, of it being mentioned when that picture was taken that coined. Oh yeah, no, because uh, we were with uh, it was that Mel, yeah. and Adam, and I think we were telling them the story. Cynthia, Adam, and Kelly was there. <clears throat> I'm talking about when Melt. I don't know if they were there at the house. I think somebody new was at Melt. Yeah, it was. It, it was just us four at Mike's house for yeah, it. There you go. And I think the girls and Adam were with us at Melt. We were going over it, and they were like, "Well, what's the thing?" And we took that picture, and Mike did the explanation. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, that that <laughs> sounds about right now. But yeah, <clears throat> um, the other thing. Too that I I need to get my hands on. I talked to one of the guys that runs production at the uh, Saturday tournament. They have this um this like tournament like uh, overlay widget. <clears throat> it's basically it's just you. <clears throat> it takes the two players' names. It takes like what round you like type in what round it is in the tournament. So like round one pools or losers round pools, what have you. Um and uh best of three or what have you and all that different stuff. And you just hit a button and it updates everything. And you can switch player sides. If like you're playing online and the player switch and stuff, it's really, really cool. <clears throat> it was just like, and it, it was, it, it was one of those things like uh, the AMV tool or not. Sorry. The, the, the AMV tool, the, um, the AMV uh, video player thing that got passed around from like oh that yes yes uh, yes Natalie yes, yes. to all the other like AMV showrunners of all these different cons and stuff where it's just like it's not publicly yes. available but if you know the person they'll give it to you and it's just like yeah the person who made the software he took took it offline but we just kind of pass it around to anybody who runs tournaments I'm like I please <laughs> please give me it I no, please me. <laughs> please to be me sir please yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um Oh, oh yeah, me. a lot of a lot of smash. Please. Good, good week in terms of it. Um, just playing yeah, a lot I, more. Uh, <clears throat> I I was going to stream um, 
Virtue's last one, or not Virtue's, zero, uh, no escape, zero escape series, one of them, of uh, the second game. But I knew after what happened on Monday with Ralph, he wanted to stream again. <laughs> so we were like, are you going to stream? I was like, nah, you got it, buddy. <laughs> I know he you wanted should. his redemption arc. <laughs> I I totally did. I so needed I to get ahead of that. You got it, buddy. Because, uh, yeah, he texted me, I think, that night. <laughs> if I recall. Hold on, I'm going to look at it. Yeah. I believe I did. It was Tuesday at at midnight, 12.08. <laughs> He's like, you, you streaming tomorrow? <laughs> I'm like, No. Uh, I was going to a tournament. <laughs> BG's planning to, though. <laughs> Me, how the fuck he is. Oh, uh, man. But I, I'm free Sundays now because football's over. And somebody even yesterday asked uh, when the next time we're doing a Discord game thing. So I might start doing those on Sundays. Okay. Because uh, literally <laughs> nothing going on on Sundays mm-hmm. now. I feel like we really should just make a schedule up. It's I, we're getting to that point now that you're available to do stuff. <clears throat> we're getting to the point yeah. where we're going to need something a little bit more solidified. Um, yeah, it's, it's been over a year now that we've been affiliate too, so it's just like getting a schedule will help with stuff. Yeah. Um, I used to uh, always schedule the first time I play AI Somnium through Twitch itself. Matter of fact, so people hmm. could be informed of when I would do it. <clears throat> oh, Amber wants to do Back for Blood again. Oh, yeah, dude. We need to complete that game, especially since all the uh, mm-hmm. updates are completed. Mm-hmm. I feel like, uh, when's Redfall come out? I feel like we, we should try to beat it before Redfall. Ooh, I think Redfall ooh, in the main. Ooh. I just remembered something. Hold on. There is a multiplayer game I want to play. I think it's only two player. But uh, so the venue that I was at, they do a mystery game every one of these tournaments. Oh, um, mystery games are so fun. <clears throat> and there was this fighting game. No, it is four player called lethal league have you heard of it it sounds familiar. i have not it is a fighting game but uh the only and the each of the arenas are basically like a square cube thing everyone has a bat type of weapon but you don't hit the other person you hit the baseball that is bouncing around the arena and that is yep. what hurts people yep i do know this game <clears throat> It's been a, a mystery game at uh, one of the tournaments. It looks fun as shit. It looks like utter chaos, and I feel like we should play it. <clears throat> yeah, that would be fun. Okay. Uh, Triton's asking when volume eight because reasons. Uh, we will we will get that scheduled. Yeah, yeah. It's been yeah. it's been. It, I asked, I, and nobody said anything. Take initiative then. <laughs> the, I did. I, Asking is initiative high key. DA stocks go up. How about saying like, <laughs> what else hey, am I supposed to do? How does this day work? <clears throat> Start trying if, to if schedule he, if he goes, it. If he goes, uh, w- hey, w- what's up with because reasons and no one says anything, how, what's he going to be? All right, so what day works? Nobody's, uh, directly, nobody's shown their interest text, in it. <laughs> directly text and contact people. Oh, that. So I could be ignored again? <laughs> if I was already ignored, why was the chance? So like, okay, now I'm going to get a response. Now that I Hold texted up. you instead Hold of texted you. Hold up. Hold up. Where, where was this? Where was this? I'm looking through the group chat and I do not see this it's, text it was on message. Discord. It was on Discord. Oh. Oh, no, was it? Yeah. It see, I'm looking through. January 24th, Tuesday. You responded. Pro. Mike did. Oh. So somebody did respond. Uh, do you know what up. you responded with? No, I don't. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> what do we need to do and when? You See? didn't even know what it was I was talking about. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't sound right. It's the words here. What do you mean? I'm looking at these words myself, but I'm not seeing them. To... To schedule it because Ruby Volume Nine first episode did drop. I have not watched it yet. Um, briefly yeah, listened did. to the uh, or I watched the uh, intro, which Amber shut up. The song in in isolation, not with the intro, but just like listening to the song. I like the song. I don't it think stinks. it works. I don't think it works good as a anime it intro. Stinks. stinks. Hold on, stinks. hold on. Da had words. It stinks. It is not a good one at all. 
Again. It's just a part in like the middle where it just feels kind of lost. Where it just Again. sort of starts playing music and it's it's what I keep talking about where it's just playing music and screaming. Where there's no like real flow or anything. That that you don't like prog. <laughs> and that is like a good prog. chunk of progressive I'm metal a prog, and metal. Man. <clears throat> Because, again, the song on its own, just listening to the song, I like the song. The intro is not good. <laughs> there are, like, three <clears throat> amazing shots in there. And it the rest just sucks. <laughs> so, where in the rankings does this intro fall? Ninth? Probably the worst. Damn. Yeah, that, that's worst. God <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> It's that's fucking again, again rough this, city. the song is good. It does not make a good anime opening, and just the the actual animation seemed kind of low energy. Hero <laughs> comeback vibes. Oh no way! But but the them transitioning from their old costumes to their new costumes and walking, but it didn't for Ruby. That was an amazing moment. I and I was just like, I got it. I got what this season's about right here and now. Boom. Everybody's mm -hmm. moving forward, but she's stagnated. That's great. Tell me that's not great. Yeah, that's good. Let's hope that's what actually happens. <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, we we gotta we gotta put a little, we gotta put a coin in the phone for Neo for that part where she just raises her teacup. I'm just like, uh, if she dies, I'm done. I'm out of here. Mark my words. You won't see me talking about Ruby ever again. If she she's dies, or she's stuck in this realm. Either way. I saw one good piece of commentary from the intro where people compared that scene with Nia with the shadows behind her to, oh, look, it's Yang's friends from episode one. Because we haven't seen shadow people since season one. <clears throat> Mike, this stinks. Mm -hmm. Again, are you listening to the song? Or are you just listening yes. to... No, no, I'm listening to the song. It stinks. And I'll I... tell you why it stinks. It is 100% that type of flyleaf uh, music. Oh. But it's not a memorable Flyleaf song. It's oh. like track eight on an album. <laughs> like, and, and this is what you're rolling out for the entirety of the volume. It stinks. It's not good enough for an opening. That's what that, I feel like. I, if I, I didn't disagree it, with you there. I just said, as a song in isolation, I liked it. I disagree. As an opener, well, I can't I disagree do not. with you liking it. I disagree that you like it, Mike. I can't. I, oh, I can't I disagree right. with that. <laughs> but but BG's argumentative we, prowess is is ascending. But uh, like uh, like I said, if this was a song on an album, I feel like I'd go, okay, cool. That's but what if I'm I saying. would just hear this, it's one of the songs I would only listen to when I'm listening to the entire album. Yes, I would not <laughs> seek this song out. And, and after an that's intro, that's not what you want. You want the intro to catch you. To you want you to the like, banger, like uh, Peacemaker's intro. I never once skipped that intro, ever. This, you I, ask me to hum it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do have a little so we're bit just gonna you're going to ignore triton mike is that what's going on here i, I saw it <laughs> and and it has to be uh so triton's trying to replace you da how, how does that make you feel y'all need me and it's it has <laughs> to be team karma that, that boy was it, dry it has, without me <laughs> it has what to be it has to be team karma <laughs> yeah we got to get drew in here drew's computer is dead so oh. drew is actually a no-go well, he can use his phone. Uh, you can call through Discord. We can. I'll talk to him about that. Yeah, his his PC is hard dead. Uh, so we can replace one A with another. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. <laughs> but then that's Team Mark. <laughs> no, it'd still be Karma. <laughs> no, 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 no. Team Car. The, like, there's two different teams. I had to change the stupid little <laughs> name for the different people. <laughs> rules are rules. <laughs> but anyways, 
We have a few little news tidbits to talk about. Um, but of course, weekly reminder, Black Lives Matter, stop Asian get your vaccines and boosters, wear your masks in hey, indoor places, <laughs> support Ukraine, support LGBTQ <laughs> rights, support body yeah, autonomy, like pay your employees what they are worth, and be good to one another. That's team he murked. No, that's team nah, team murked. Because it just takes away the vow. God damn it. Yeah, it's where Amber went to. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I went. I went. I went, I went with. Merc I went with gaming. I went with the gaming fucking lingo. Get fucking team murked. Um. Uh, before on. you get into the news, there was a very weird question that kind of uh, caught me. Uh, oh? Let's say you go out to a restaurant and mm-hmm. you order a burger. Uh-huh. You're only allowed to put three ingredients on top of the burger. What are they? Is cheese an ingredient? Yes. Yes. You can put I'm three toppings. Even. Whatever. Cheese, bacon, ketchup. No. Uh, Cheese, bacon, what? Ketchup. That's Cheese, what I get on my ketchup. burger anyways. <laughs> Cheese, grilled mm. onion, fried egg. You got no condiments. I don't need them. The egg will uh, yeah, uh, be I, the like, condiment. I, I, I would substitute ketchup for fried egg on occasion, but... Yeah, fried egg on the burger. If I only had a choice of three. Bomb diggy. Yeah, no, cheese, bacon, ketchup, or or alternating ketchup and barbecue sauce, depending on the cheese. I can't do American cheese and barbecue sauce. I need a like a Swiss, not a Swiss, but a, a cheddar. I was gonna say cheddar. Yeah, like if, yes. if it's if it's a cheddar or pepper jack, barbecue sauce. If it's like an American cheese or a Swiss, ketchup. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you also can't eat steak. You have no opinions on food steak. that are accepted here. I can absolutely eat steak. The proper way. <laughs> Wait, ketchup. What's the on proper it? way? Uh, Wait, ketchup on it. No, it's uh, not the proper way. Oh, uh, you do. Tell that to the five star chef. <laughs> what? What? What chef? <laughs> there's somebody out there. There's one of them. If there's a chef that's making ketchup on steak, I'm gonna look this up. A chef I'm gonna look it up. Big I'm, old I'm bag of Doritos. I'm Sometimes gonna... chefs like trash. I'm gonna love it. Okay, but they're not gonna ruin Minus what they fifty blessing. <laughs> They're not going to ruin what they perceive to be good by making it worse. <laughs> worse? Crispy onion barbecue Better. sauce cheddar is a banger. Agreed. Crispy onions on a burger is God tier. Absolute. Like, if you had gun to my head, bacon, cheese, ketchup. Absolutely. That'd be the first go-to. But a secondary? Cheddar, crispy onion, barbecue sauce. That's it. I'm gonna laugh that one of these days where uh, somehow, Trump some way. Eats. Yes, I know, I know, Trump I know. We've talked about this. We talked. Yes, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. We're reiterating here. What? Trump eats steak with ketchup. His okay. First yeah. There we go. Presidential uh, dinner was an overcooked fifty-four dollar steak with ketchup. Uh-huh. Can you? Okay, so he got it. Well done. Trump is also a human. He also walks on is two he? legs. Is what he? are we doing here with these comparisons? Is he a human? He's human no. enough. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, well done, ketchup. Yes. <clears throat> Whatever five. Well chef done is preparing. He ate a fifty-four dollar steak. steak. Well done with ketchup. I. I mm, like I'm actually like, crying. like I got hit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, if that was his first meal, after that they didn't give a shit. That's why he had not. McDonald's. You saw the big McDonald's. Exactly. Uh, That's why he had McDonald's running. He quit. Motherfucker walked out. Dude, that is, and I rarely use this, an iconic photo. It is. That's some Willy Wonka shit. A top tier photo traveler. in the history <laughs> of humanity. Oh no, that that is that is what they're going to turn to in the history books when they talk about his presidency. That is page one. It is he is so proud. Oh yeah. Of this of these fish fillets. Mike, Mike, put the picture on. They want to see it. Some oh, of them Trump, haven't seen the, it. The Trump one? Yep. 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 All right. Put it up. Trump, Nick. Don. You got if you haven't seen this picture because you, maybe you're too young for this now, which is also a scary thought. No, <laughs> dude. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, Prepare, I'm, dude. Fucking, I forget what stream I was doing. Mike. I know, I know. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I forget what 
stream it was, but I started, uh, I think I started singing like, it's not too late, it's never too late. And then I just asked him like, were any of you born after that song mm-hmm. came out? And I think Jet was mm-hmm. like, I mm-hmm. was. And I'm like, no. Yep. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, <laughs> I, for our pre-stream, I played covers of songs, and I played uh, So Cold, and I don't Ooh. think anybody understood what it was. No, don't t- don't don't take me don't tell me that. That's unfortunate. All right. <laughs> oh my god. I just now noticed the um the salad dressings lined up like it's like it's and it's, at a, actually at a restaurant. It's perfect. Oh wait, wrong. Is this going on the screen because I'm yes. waiting yet yeah, there my, there look at this. If it's, you have not go, seen right. this, now what was the team? Who did he invite here? I think it was the was, college football team. I think no, it was the college. I'm pretty sure it was. Don't tell me the Super Bowl winners. I think it was the Super Bowl. Oh no! Oh no! No, isn't this Golden State? No, because they refused to go. <gasps> right. Yes. 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 Golden State did refuse. Amber, what? I mean, yeah, owning a VHS this day and age, you're just you're gonna get called a dinosaur. I, that's that's highly unfortunate, but true. This is a travesty. <clears throat> Those are the Lincoln candelabras. <laughs> this is Lincoln oh, is oh. looking over the fucking table. <laughs> His face is cut out as it should be. And and can we talk about the immaculate fit that this man got on? <laughs> this waistcoat is hidden. This man's ready for a night on the town. The contrast between the black, the white, the gold, the red. Mwah! Mwah! It pops. Is... <clears throat> Welcome. You realize he's oh, wearing man. this coat indoors, right? I I could have mistaken this for the great in Hall and Harry Potter for this bountiful <laughs> feast. Wow. Dumbledore is just like feast, children. <laughs> Let's see. I it's I perfect. No, it was it was college. It was Clemson University on okay. their okay. NCAA so. football championship. The hot food gets cold. The cold food gets warm. Eat up, watered down in cokes as well. Cause them boys, they've been sitting there. Oh my god! What a way I, to I, a fountain drink. <laughs> it's insanity. It's, it's just, <laughs> just Lincoln overlooking that table, pondering like, "This is what the future of my country entails." Hmm. This is the, this is my party. <clears throat> oh boy. So, uh, in terms of game stuff, uh, Dia, have you started playing Like a Dragon Ishin yet? No, I have not. Are you um, waiting to get through everything else? That is as of right now. Yeah, right now I have to get through Persona 3 and then Final Fantasy X for videos for ALX. So I'm mm-hmm. tabling all this stuff, all that other stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, this okay. is fair. <clears throat> got okay. these fans. Um, got through Dead Space on stream. Uh... Yeah, still that was a, really, a fun one to watch. Still really a fucking good game. Um, yeah, the, the insanity thing wasn't as big of a thing as I thought it was going to be, which was a oh, bit that's disappointing. You, like, start hearing voices and stuff and what have you, but it was, like, no different than, like, Dead Space 2 and 3. <clears throat> um, that's whack. They should have had uh, not their Xenomorphs. Yeah, that would have been cool. Like, if there's only two in the room, it looks like there's six. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just like there's the spawn rates and stuff. I feel like were a lot better in terms of just like turning a corner. The, the one, like probably the biggest jump scare that I got was I was just like going around collecting shit and I just turned a corner and then it was just like, one was just sprinting at me. Just, ah, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll get you. Um, but yeah, just like the additions in terms of like, you know, the, the story had to change a bit because Isaac's talking. <laughs> He did not do that in the, f- the first time around. So it was like <clears throat> those changes oh, yeah. and, and some other stuff. Um, overall, like I, it was still in my top 10 games of all time. It's very solidly still placed there <laughs> with the remake. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 
next up, we are playing Metroid. Was going to potentially play it today, but uh, I had a few drinks last night, and I woke up, and I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing some Metroid, um, which is that as well as getting a lot of very good reviews. However, uh, apparently they snubbed the original devs. They did not include them in the oh. credits. And uh, some of them aren't happy. <clears throat> And Would you be Last of Us? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, uh, when uh, the TV show came out, a lot of the workings of the TV show were just straight from the game, mm-hmm. and uh, some of the original writers and creators were not credited, and they were mad about it. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> know your roots, people. Um, know your roots. Let's see other gaming things. Um. The uh, PS5 drought is officially over. Um, you can just buy them now. There's no no queues, no having to pay attention to Wario64 on Twitter <clears throat> to get a deal. You can just buy them now. That took like a year and a half. I think it's two and a half years. Oh, it, is, it was 2020, wasn't it? It was when it came out. <clears throat> Boy. Old. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's very similar to the Wii um, in terms of just like it took for fucking ever for people to be able to actually just buy one. Um, And then I think that's in terms of games. Um, uh, BG, the Super Bowl. (laughs) Oh, there's one more game that should be talked about. Mm. And that's Legend of the Goku on the PS5. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Suck it, all haters! Give me a new one, please. Thank you. Suck it, all haters. Yeah, suck it, all haters. Now, we we, we weren't haters. We were just fans nah. of your suffering. True. That is fair. That is fair. <laughs> Every like year, we would just be, get... I, can't, I feel like you can't be a, a friend to somebody unless you enjoy them suffering for something that's a, a oh, roughly a thousand percent, at least a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like if if somebody hates pickles and they get pickles on their burger, that's hilarious. Yes, if you're just suffering. Mm-hmm. I don't want you destitute or nothing. I don't want you really hurt. Just but minorly a, inconvenient. Minor in- inconvenience. Something you really want that you just can't get. Like that you, is just pure like, entertainment, like, like me, a film or something. Like me missing out on this collector's edition Tears of the Kingdom thing. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Big suck it. I haven't seen any more pop ups, and I'm sad. <laughs> whoops! <laughs> oh, whoops! Uh, That's it. It's over. You're never getting it. Oh, he will for four hundred dollars on eBay. No, I won't <laughs> do that. I didn't do it for the. He's- for the bust. I won't do it for this. You say that. And you will always regret it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not overpaying that much for shit that I want. Do you remember? Do you still uh, regret the do bust? Do you remember? I never got the bust. No, that's what I'm saying. Do you still regret oh, yeah, I it? I, I, uh, you mean Is that, it re- not mean that worth regret? that extra $150 no. to alleviate that? Okay, Mike. You take it to your grave. The the only time I went more for something was I would only pay for Amiibos double the price, but that's another 12 bucks <laughs> versus hundreds of dollars more. That I won't do. You say that now. But it feels like the second that damn burst is over. Oh, true. Big true. Yeah, that's... I don't. I don't want to get in the habit of, and I, and I don't want to reward scalpers. You know, <clears throat> um, and that's the real thing. I I really want to just stick it to those bastards. Yeah. I was uh I was looking up. I can't remember where I wanted to go recently, but I wanted to go see somebody. It might have been a wrestling thing. It might have been a concert. I don't remember. But uh, the tickets pre being sold out were like thirty dollars. And then all of a sudden, they were a hundred and forty dollars. <throat> I'm not doing that, y'all. One of the best feelings in the world to see, or just something to see, is <clears throat> you have an item that is rare. So people are, you know, overcharging the fuck out of it for a resale, <clears throat> and then there's a reprint of something. 
Uh, and you just watch that sweeter. number tank. <laughs> there's nothing sweeter to me than when a scalper uh, has a ticket to something, uh, like an event, and they are sitting on literally. 50 to 100 so tickets great. with an hour and a half left until the show. Mm-hmm. So they got to mm-hmm. they gotta go from their scalping mm-hmm. for 500% to half off, a third off. Mm-hmm. You. There was some woman uh, that was a, um, a, a house manager, and the houses are strictly for Airbnbs. They don't use them for anything else. It was something like 6,000 houses. And uh, it was for the Super Bowl. So it was in Arizona. And she thought she was going to sell them boys out the night she put them up. So she was charging like 1200 a night for them with a five-night minimum. Because she thought people was going to buy them. <laughs> then a day before the Super Bowl, she hadn't moved a thousand houses. <laughs> so she's like, oh, half off everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's not for sports stuff, not so much for housing, but like that's honestly how <clears throat> one of the best ways to get good seats is. And I did that for a couple of years when LeBron was still in the Cavs. I would plan my trips to go visit my dad around Cavs games. And one the one time we just like went to downtown Orlando, sat in a bar, and we're just looking at Ticketmaster and just refreshing. And then we got like 10 rows up from courtside for like 70% off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what you should do for the most part. If you want to go to an event, but you're not like, I need to go to this event, just mm-hmm. I can go. Uh, yeah, just sit around and just plan like you're going to a bar. And then just see if you can. Yeah, because that's the thing, too. It's just like we're sitting at a sports bar. So if it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, man, we didn't get tickets. We just turn and look at the TV. Yeah. <laughs> and those are our seats through the night. <laughs> like uh, SummerSlam's coming to Detroit this year. We could literally just be like, all right, we can go. We can wait. We can buy it now. We can wait and see what happens, or we just watch it at home. Yeah. Either either <clears throat> option is just like whatever. Um, but hey, speaking of sports, though, uh, yeah, the uh, prediction that you made during uh, last week's podcast of the Super Bowl, uh, I think did not come to pass. <laughs> Which was I think you said. <laughs> okay, Ralph. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Um, Didn't mean to click that. <laughs> but uh, I think I think you predicted the other team was going to win. They didn't. Oh yeah, 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 the Eagles. It was <laughs> such a weird game. So uh, the field is was awful. I mean, it was astroturf. The, right? It wasn't astroturf. It was like a quasi turf. The issue was that everybody was sliding. Mm. So whoever had implemented it, whoever the workers were. I just left it so slippery that people were falling left and right. Teams were changing cleats four or five times in the game. There was just a bucket of cleats hmm. that were you that were already used. Um and the adjustment at halftime, like Chiefs just got to it. Uh there was a egregious call on holding uh on the last play of the game. And the refs had basically been hand off hands off for the rest of the game until that final drive and then all of a sudden it's like oh he was holding well now they get a touchdown and they win the Super Bowl and people were really mad at it now the issue is that it was holding like don't get it twisted the guy held (laughs) but there were other plays where people were holding and the rest were just like eh it's the Super Bowl what are you gonna do unless it's really bad whatever and that wasn't even really bad there was a play in the first quarter that was even worse than that that everybody saw and they were just like whatever so uh that sounds a lot a, like nba issue. playoffs where it's just like in the last like five minutes of a game you feel like the refs just start calling fucking everything and it's, <clears throat> I, I don't know if it's for the drama of it i don't know if it's for the uh, oh, these guys think they can get away with it. We're going to show them that they can't get away with this type of mm-hmm. stuff. I truly don't know what the purpose of it is, but there was some uh, bad refereeing uh, in the final little bit of that. But Chiefs <laughs> won. Uh, it, was a, it was a fantastic game. Any good Absolutely commercials? Astounding. Uh, no. Oh. If you were to ask me to remember three commercials that weren't a trailer, I couldn't give them to you. Wow. 
All right, then. Do you think that the age of the commercial was over? I feel like I feel like part of the issue is that people are so into the digital age that they'll essentially go, these companies like Doritos will go, here's our Super Bowl ad, and it'll be on YouTube two days before the Super Bowl. And it's like, mm-hmm. okay, so now it's not anything special to watch the Super Bowl and see this ad. So I already saw it. I already saw your big spot. Why should I give a shit? Mm-hmm. And there were a lot of those. The biggest things were the trailers. And even the trailers, like, I don't give a sh- about Indiana Jones. What the f- so, yeah, uh, there were, I couldn't tell you many good commercials on this one. I couldn't tell you the products they were shilling. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember one commercial. Uh, JesusUs.com. Oh, oh he yeah. wouldn't want us to act like adults. Yeah, that. I remember yeah. that because I remember going. How do y'all have money for this? Because they're not taxed. Okay, but they're always asking for money. It's just like God needs this money for blank, blank, blank. Well, also, church. was it a church like that did it, or was it a private? Do- I, whatever it was, how do you have three to five million dollars for a Super Bowl ad? Give it to the church. Uh, let's let's see. What was it? Jesus.org. Who it was D- the... Jesus Us dot com or Just something. It's like look like up that. Jesus Us Super Bowl ad. Ad. Who for the group behind the Jesus Focus mm-hmm. ads? Uh, he gets us. Uh, liability is a is a limited liability. It's an insurance company. What they are they insuring Christ? What are we? Liability hmm. company that says it's an it's initiative of the Servant Foundation, a public charity. And Christian Foundation, based in Kansas last year, launched a $100 million effort to improve the image of Jesus, thus prompting the ad. What, is, was Jesus canceled or something? <laughs> Apparently, <my> yes. Dude? <laughs> so that's why it was. That's why it exists, and who made it exist? A limited liability company, which essentially it is an insurance business, created a Christian public charity to improve the image of Jesus Christ in our modern society. Okay, what needs to be improved about the perception of Jesus? Because people aren't mad at Jesus, they're mad at Christians. He needs to be whiter. (laughs) Ah, you know what? That's fair. There's a lot of science coming out there. Hey, maybe Jesus wasn't white. We need to improve this image. $100 million right now. Hey! Enhance. Hey, thanks. Haley, thank you. Uh, Twitch sucks. It'd be like that sometimes. <clears throat> um, so moving on from that, why uh, is uh, can I can I stop this real quick though? Hey. Why is Jesus the only one that ever needs these things? I don't see a hundred million campaign for Buddha or or thing, uh Krishna or Vishnu. <laughs> it's always these. It's always Jesus. Everybody knows Jesus did his dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the reason for that is pretty obvious. I don't... The, 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 the main religion responsible for the majority of copious amounts of propagandizing is Christianity right now. It's That's it, homie. To me. That's it. Never, That's the answer for I you. Have never it's seen Jesus a because it's the number my life. Because <laughs> it's the number one religion in the world, and the people that are adherent to it are. Fucking fanatics. Okay. And they have the money. But they have the the, money. Coke is the number one uh, soda in the world. But Mm -hmm. I've seen RC Cola ads. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I've never seen nothing from no Buddha. Because they ain't got the money for that. But nor do they have the interest either. They got $13 on a local access show. And they also don't have the interest. There you go. I will agree with that. They're just like... You know what it is. They are so pure yeah. in their religion. They Christians don't have the Christianity interest. Christianity exactly. is so afraid of losing the headspace of people oh, yeah. and being seen as the bad guys that they that they are. Pushing. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that uh, teacher that got fired for showcasing the library in Florida mm-hmm. with shelves of empty books yep. in the school library yep. because the the mother. F- banned basically everything mm-hmm. it's insanity out here mm-hmm. yep yep yep, yep. <clears throat> meanwhile you know 
they're our government and the people that keep making these decisions keep wanting to make things right, right? Like that's what we keep hearing from the Republicans and the Democrats who just don't fucking get anything done. And currently, how many train derailments are we at for this month? I think three, Four? honestly. Four. Four. One happened today. Wonderful. Our infrastructure is crumbling in real time as we were warned years ago. The restrictions that Trump lifted were never put back into place by Biden. And we are reaping the windfall. Actual toxic rain is falling in the United States in Ohio. Quote unquote toxic the, is safe, everybody, I swear. The, the land that this spill happened on is unable to sustain life. You so you know what? The carrots that I'd there. be eating right now, probably toxic. That's why I avoid them. <laughs> yeah, okay. They've been there for eight months. Mike, you're safe. <laughs> oh, no. You can never be too sure. Andrew, you're missing one. There was one in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, there's there's five. There it is. Yep. God fucking damn it, man. <clears throat> it's a fucking joke. And not a funny one. Not in the slightest. It's it's a travesty. And all of this is avoidable. Yeah, that's it's the, like the, the The sad part is, is that Biden came in and he did do a good with pushing this investment into United States infrastructure. But of course, that gets, gets cock blocked like everything else the Democrats are doing right now. Cock blocked by the Republicans because while it's advertised that the Democrats had a majority, they did in fact not have a majority because two of the people who were on the Democratic side didn't actually vote Democrat. They voted Republican because they're shitlords. But then again, nothing is getting done, even though there's ways that there's loopholes they could have used to get around these things. Things aren't happening. Nothing is in fact happening. We are getting placebo placeholders of it will happen. And then when the other guys get into power, they take more. We have been in a net loss when it comes to these political fucking morons for the past 50 goddamn years. We gain nothing and lose more every cycle. When is this going to change? That is it's, it's getting to the point of actual infuriating this. It, Trump is a, is what his presidency was what it was, right? Like it was a disgusting mess. Or should I cue the McDonald's but, picture again? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> but it's, it's still getting worse. We are seeing in real time that the world is not going to fix itself. It, nothing's happening. Just we are losing jobs. We are losing land as these accidents happen. If you, we can't use this place anymore, like when it, when are people going to wake up? When it, what is what is going to be the catalyst for actual change? What is going to happen? Catastrophe. Because if you look global, exactly. If you look at if you look at history, there is always that flashpoint that changes everything. When. When's ours coming? Because we're 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 ticking the check boxes, man. It is getting irrefutable how close we are coming to this fucking nightmare, and it is mm -hmm. coming fast, like these trains that keep derolling, railing, whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crashing. Ralph is going to get shot, man. It, if that would be the end of it, that'd be great. I wouldn't have to be stressed about this shit. If DA anymore. and I haven't been shot, Ralph is good. <laughs> I think he's referencing more political assassination versus hey, bang, bang, my baby in Detroit. What What's more likely to happen? A political assassination or a black guy dying in Detroit? The true odds are better than you know. No, uh, Detroit. He said too much. <clears throat> okay. Getting to this last little tidbits of news. Um, I guess keeping on a down note and then maybe going up. Um... It's, it's just a shame because it's the end of a really good career. Bruce Willis was officially diagnosed with dementia. And he had been suffering from aphasia. So just like slight bits of memory loss here and there. And it just kind of fully developed into a dementia diagnosis. But that's okay. The studio that has his has the rights to his likeness are going to be using AI to deep fake him in. There that's is that is too. He, is he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did he sign those over? Cause there's a, there should be some what type of mentally. Yeah. His family were making that argument in court, but I haven't heard anything else about it. 
<clears throat> I think as of right now, they can make what they want, and it's still on them. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it just it sucks. It's one of those things where it's just, you know, without your memories, what, like, <laughs> are you the person that you were? Um, it's a very scary you're thought. Mean. Uh, yeah, you're not. That's the so, thing. So, but yeah, it's just it's a shame because obviously I think he's only like in his what sixties. He could have like had sixty six, something yeah, like that. He, he could have had a lot more of an acting career. So it's very unfortunate. Oh, easily. <clears throat> um, do 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 do. Okay, moving on to not as depressing things. Um, we'll find a way back, Mike. We always find a way back. Come on. Well, now. I guess you might consider this depressing. It really just depends on your outlook. Barney's coming back. <laughs> Dude. I what like ha- the new look. I <laughs> like it. Uh, I had not heard of this. Yeah, he's getting an animated reboot. There were people talking about oh, it's an the animated line, just reboot. going, they better not make Barney woke. And I'm like, shut, shut up. Yeah. Do y'all not realize oh, Barney, Barney was Barney. always woke? Hey, people are stupid. So the the media literacy of the people that go woke and that's just their point, it's so low because quote unquote wokeness, like women in position of power, like uh trans people have been around for decades in media. What in things they love? What are they talking about? I know. <clears throat> but like, Mike, do y- your nieces, do they have a TV? A, a cable? Yeah. Or is this just going to be, really? Mm-hmm. The, the the average person Parents. has TV. Parents. Parents. Some people, some people still love you. TV. You put it on the Disney Channel or what have you, and it distracts the kids. But you can accomplish the same thing. No, but he's saying, what he's getting at is is that these day, this day and age, it's mostly digital media rather than televised i'm i am aware i'm aware but that that is one of the things especially when the kids are young it's just you it it helps distract the kids or it's like if they need to do something they'll put something on the tv um i know it it was a mixture of and then uh my uh brother-in-law likes sports um so there is that too digital i don't know what yeah i don't understand that digital is the easiest way to go about that it's again people kind of stuck in their ways they don't know the new things how old? How old? How old? How old are we talking here? My brother-in-law is yeah. seven years older than me. That's not an excuse. I don't want to hear that. I'm just, I'm just saying. I it's, feel like it's, that's it's really right easy on to the be cusp. Like, it's really easy to be like, here's my cable, and this is the thing I've been doing for forty years of my life. Go to the channel. <clears throat> um, okay, but people used to send letters too. I'm just transition to email, you cucks. It is. It's for people that are older, especially the people that are very stuck in their ways but believe me trying to get my mother to <laughs> try adopt new forms of technology n- no sir she will not have it she wants her old cable her old and her old things she used to, like she can't really do it anymore she used to tape her shows all the time and she was mad when they w- wouldn't make vcrs to do that anymore like it's it's as you get older you get more curmudgeonly there are <clears throat> full there are full episode playlists for Blue's Clues on YouTube. I I don't understand the Get idea YouTube of stuck in your ways. Get rid yeah, of I I've never understood it's the stuck in your ways thing. It's it's there are people that are like that, but it was like for, for is like that for my nieces. It's a combination of like Netflix like show playlists or like other those playlists and just having a channel on either or. Um, <clears throat> The nieces do have tablets, and they do do like YouTube things. They're they're very much into uh some like child specific let's players. I have found, <laughs> which is odd, <clears throat> but um. Well, that's like the fucking it's, it's, old it's, it's, it's Minecraft a, fucking it's let's a mix players of when we were younger. It's a mix yeah. of everything that they do. Roblox. Mm-hmm. Roblox. Oh my god, <clears throat> fucking Roblox. Um. Let's see what else. What an exploitation market sometimes. Um, so yeah, Barney's coming back. That I think I've told the story about the the nightmare I had that made me scared of Barney as a kid for like years. If you did, I don't remember. Um Oh, I have to like Well, we're we're we're, we're, we'll 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 tell it next time. Yeah. Um if I remember in the next like ten minutes or, or not even that, five minutes. Um has anyone seen Ant-Man yet? Yes. Uh-oh. 
I have not. I have not, but uh, just is it as bad uh, as people are saying it is? Yeah, I want to hear it a is review. The second is... rotten movie, Marvel movie. <clears throat> so Rotten Tomato is a little weird because the entirety of Rotten Tomato is anything seventy and above is fresh, and anything below that is rotten. So if a bunch of people give it a sixty-eight, technically it's a rotten movie, but. In terms of like Metacritic score, that's a perfectly fine movie. It's at five is average, seventy is good. That's a fine score. Mm-hmm. It okay. is not a fine movie. It oh. is subpar. It is as close to a mid superhero movie as you can get. Like if I thought Captain Marvel was bad, this is one step above Captain Marvel. Okay. Also, I just remembered the dream. <laughs> it was. I was. This, I think I had to be like below ten. I just remember it was just like a, a period of time where it's like I'd like you know as a kid was like watching Barney or something, and then I stopped watching Barney, and then I had a dream where I was in this like dark, like just square encapsulated room. Barney was chasing me, throwing machetes at me, going, "Why don't you like me anymore?" <laughs> <laughs> just chasing me around a what room. What the fuck? <laughs> Throwing machetes at me. And I, woke, and I woke up and was like, I... <laughs> so it was like, as a kid, you would hear like, I love it. I'd be like... <laughs> Mike. Yeah, that's a uh, that's weirdo. That is a, weirdo it's a weird dream. <laughs> but it stuck with me for so many fucking years. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird when things stick with you because... The, the most innocuous looking thing could mm-hmm. 30 years later you'd be like holy I wish I had dreams like that dude I sometimes it's Do just you? like if I, if I get very obsessed with like a thing um like any game that I like get super obsessed with I'll just get it like start having dreams randomly involving those games um but that's that's a story for another time we could just do a topic on weird ass dreams we've had if you remember them um, Super Mario Bros. movie has a runtime of 92 minutes, about an hour and a half, a little bit on the shorter side. In and but, out. Yeah. In and out nuts. <laughs> you so. they they can they can they can make it longer. Why With not? With the way this is being voice acted, nah. Chris they Pratt cut the like only... half of Chris Pratt's recorded scenes, and that's the runtime we got. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, Last of Us HBO show is actually uh, more watched in its like initial run period time as it is right now than uh, <laughs> the last Game of Thrones show. Yeah, well, that was fucking garbage. That's why. Also, Kelly House of Kelly Dragons. makes a great point about your yes. Dreams, yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> um, but yeah, Never forget. you have to imagine like if season eight wasn't as big of a suck ball as it was. For Game of Thrones, like, you know, it's just speculation, but it's just like, it could have, like, this, this could have not been a thing that The Last of Us is getting better viewership, but I think Volume 8 was that bad, (laughs) or Volume 8, (laughs) Season 8 was that bad. Volume 8, yes, we're back to Ruby. No, Mm -hmm. it was a travesty. It was not good. Uh, No, it was, it was really not uh, I am Legend Two in the works with Michael B. Jordan and Will Smith. They're using the alternate ending, so that's the thing can that's we happening. stop with Michael B. Jordan, please? How about stopping? Nah, fam, he's, with, he's it now. How about stopping with sequels to things that had a good ending, like this next no. thing? How or 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 reworks like How to Train Your Dragon live action? It doesn't need it. No, you need to keep hitting nostalgia. There's <clears throat> people that are twenty two to thirty eight. That we need to hit things they love over and over and over. They've got enough England. time and disposable income. And it's finally time to milk those tits. Just I, yes. I, saw, I saw that live action thing for How to Train Your Dragon, and I'm like, this was this is a perfectly fine thing that's over there, and you don't need to go back to it. It's not a need, it's a want. We want money, and people will go buy it, Lion King. True. Uh, he's he's, I, I, he's, out, out, he's out of line, but he's right. Yeah, it's coming out this year, right? Live action One Piece? Uh, It's supposed to come out this year. 
we're probably gonna get a we trailer. did get a teaser poster <clears throat> i liked it uh we should be getting a trailer <laughs> da i heard a noise summer. from you what was that <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you oh. have doubts about the bet, DA. That can't be oh. it, DA. The bet's coming up. Some of those wigs didn't <clears throat> look very good in the back. Oh, what I've not seen any do? of this. Oh, DA. You can't What's be going on? LeBet, can it? As a, as a reminder, DA bets BG 50 bucks that One Piece live action will look, quote, all right. Oh no, is it that bad looking? It's not, not bad. bad looking. It's around the all right area, <laughs> yeah. but if that's the issue, this should be the easiest part to be all right with. Mm -hmm. It's just them in their costumes with their backs turned. And yet. Mm hmm. Oh, the end yet has me worried. Yeah. And then the last little tidbit of news that I have is, and this actually should have been the gaming stuff, but whatever. Um, they are. Patching Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with a lot of performance fixes and other stuff. But no release date on said patch. It's just that they said, hey, here are the changes. They're coming soon. <laughs> That's meaningless. <laughs> Who's going in the freaking eighth month after it comes out? Now is the time to buy it. You don't, The money's been made and the people that played it have already played it. There's, there's going to be DLC that's coming out that they're going to want to make sure that the game is more performant for, as well as the, they do have, like, weekly raids and content and stuff that are in the game. For Pokemon like that aren't actually, like, in the Pokedex of the game. Like, the first week was the Charizard, and then they just had Greninja a week or two ago. Um, so they're going to have, like, some other Pokemon. I feel that's... like this would have been the perfect, the perfect time would have been pre-Christmas. No, I, I mean, mean that's when the game came Christmas, out. I guess. <laughs> yeah, but it needed to be that. Yes, true. The game needed to be a lot of things when it released that it wasn't. So but I mean, that's does it are. need to be that? If I don't know, it was, it was entertaining it was a, in its release form. <laughs> if it was a well, uh, well uh, optimized game, how many more sales is it gonna get? They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> And that's all I had. So unless you guys have some stuff, we can call this podcast a close. Oh. Uh, Fact so Madden. I got two. I got two. Uh, would you guys rather have 20 facts about the Bible or would you like to hear about some of the nebulous things that Trump likes to eat a lot? Oh, I'd rather that hear one. the Trump thing. I'd rather hear that too. Same. All righty then. So um, first off, he likes to eat pizza with a fork. Um, what he does doesn't want to ruin the he, suit. He scrapes off all the toppings and simply eats those. What? No crust, he, no nothing else. Hey, that's that's keto. That's all right. Gluten free. No, it's Trump. not. No, <laughs> gluten no, it's free. Not. Trump. It's not. Okay. We're no. good. We're good. No. Trump winning again. <laughs> no. He has an average of twelve diet cokes a day. That's. I'd say I that's can't, too many. I can't, I can't structure that. Exclusively through a straw. Is the straw crazy? Exclusively through the straw. Now that's just too far. <laughs> uh, the straw is probably to help protect his teeth. Trump went in again. <laughs> that, that, that's a bold assumption. You think he has teeth still. <laughs> Dentures, whatever. His average McDonald's order. <laughs> Two Big Macs, two filet of fish, and a milkshake. He doesn't eat the bread. What is, what is he doing? He's I'm, eating like a crazy person. I'm so he's, he's deconstructing the burgers. And yes. he, it's a Big Mac. Why would you just get a double cheeseburger with some Mac sauce? It'll be cheaper. This list says that he has insulted <laughs> chefs by putting ketchup on his steaks. I'm just, I'm just glad that there's someone worse at food than me, you know? <laughs> and lastly, he will not eat more than three Oreos per day. 
But it'll oh, eat two Big he's, Macs. He's got a hard limit on Oreos. <laughs> that's what he that's draws the line. line. That's what he draws the line. I can't indulge too much. Oh, this is too rich. Uh, a fourth Oreo, I shan't. I will not have a fourth Oreo. Diet Coke, please. Where's my straw? <laughs> I... Wow. Oil, diet Cokes a day. A day. You know, you, you wondered during his presidency where he would draw the line. Now we know it's three Oreos. Unbelievable. He built a wall around the Oreos. <laughs> My Only three per minute a day. <laughs> goodness gracious. <clears throat> Triton moment. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I'm supposed to eat this pizza with my <laughs> Oh my god. Trump that is... is an alien. He's oh, absolutely. very particular because he's he's not had to want for anything. Can you imagine that okay, so going back to that fucking picture. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Let me pull it back up again. Here's real quick. Loading up two f- in Big Macs and two fish, and, and then you're taking just off, discarding the bread. You're just like, like the, the, does the anybody team, want this? The team gets there. The team gets there. They open up the Big Mac thing, and it's just a fucking salad of <laughs> toppings and a burger. <laughs> Where are the carbs at, homie? No, no, not here. I don't like it like that. So nobody gets to eat it. So hold on, hold on. Oh, let me no, not settings. Let me get this picture back up real quick. Just cause my God. Let's, we're gonna count real quick. The fucking amount of like <laughs> Okay. And here we go. And while you're counting, uh one, meme seven. one, two, three. One of the Bible one, facts that caught my eye was <laughs> strip are referred to as an abomination four times in the Bible. No, sorry, are uh, referred to as an abomination four times more than homosexuality in the Bible. Oh. Terribly sorry. Why do so, you think I don't like those shrimp? So at least, I think those are Big Macs in the middle. Middle That's 34, I think I count. Middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy nine. I mean, but you're oh. also counting the fillets. Oh, I'm no, counting, sorry, I'm not 34, like 50. 54. <clears throat> yeah, I'm counting 54 fillets. <clears throat> And he's just scraping them off. That's... And there's there's more too to the side. There's more cases. Yeah, because you can see there's the like... salad and yeah, our crackers. I would assume. Why are you Nuts. displaying the nuts? This is an unbelievable the picture. Best. Why are they on a platter? <laughs> Fancy platter. It's Why the Lincoln they... silverware. The are cold because they're just <clears throat> sitting there, and they're cold because. By the time you've made <laughs> six quarter pounders, the fillets you have already made have gotten colder. Yep. You're sitting out on that front parking lot for at least 30 minutes for this. Plus the travel time, plus the setup time. Them boys are rock hard. You know they had to. All right, you guys start stacking the burgers. <clears throat> Cause like this, this is this is more than a lunch rush hour. <laughs> uh, legitimately, <laughs> they shut down the restaurant. They, they shut down to. the restaurant for that. They yes, had they to did. go no more orders for until we're finished with this order. Mm-hmm. It's the president, goddammit. <laughs> oh, he probably ordered mm-hmm. two Big Macs and and left. Oh, oh dude. my god. So yeah, I'm, it's, it, no matter what. Now, Da, I'm gonna I'm gonna thank you for giving me the justification for my own eating habits. So anytime you guys make fun of me, I'm just like <laughs> Trump. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're still gonna mock I you. I mean, that doesn't, that still that doesn't stop it. <laughs> but that's my just. Fat man can call somebody else fat still. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Trump. <laughs> that's right. the biggest mic drop thing I've heard today. <laughs> Yep. He looks like he's doing a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, we will call this podcast a close. So in terms of streams for this week, tomorrow, I will be starting Metroid Prime Remake. <clears throat> um, Tuesday, Ralph, are you going to be streaming? Uh, absolutely. All right. Wednesday, of course, uh, no coin box, but just Smash Bros in general. <clears throat> um, and then Thursday, Friday, we'll see. 
Friday, we could do some Back for Blood. We could. Yes, Amber, Friday, Back for Blood. Let's fucking run it. And then uh, pro- the, and then after that, we'll kind of figure things out for there. But uh, I'll probably want to play Metroid Prime more, so that'll probably be like Saturday or something. <laughs> Amber, all right, yep. <laughs> I like the emote. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into this episode of the Podcast of Stuff. We will see you next week. Later. Bye-bye.